What is good, y'all? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger for you guys, J.I. Squad. Now again, now to my don't know what the J.I. Squad is. Look at the bottom right of your screen right now and it says subscribe, not subscribe to do. And the post notifications are not on. Even if it says subscribe and the post notifications are not on, bro, you're not a part of the J.I. Squad. You know what I'm but all you gotta do is smash that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. You know what I mean? While you're down there, you might as well get this video a big thumbs up. You dig what I'm saying? Now, this video is brought to you and sponsored by Sequence. You dig what I'm saying? If you guys haven't seen uh, yesterday's upload, I'll go ahead and put a card up right there. You dig what I'm saying? Make sure you go tap in. Um, the newest sponsor of the channel is Sequence. As you guys know, I got the 16. Uh, 6th gen basically conversion for the 5th gen tail lights. Now, there is a small issue with these joints, you feel me? When you step on the brake, they have a little bit of a de delay. Let me show you. See what I'm saying? I'm pressing the brake right now. Oh, it's like a five second delay, you know what I'm saying? This is a very common issue that happens with these tail lights. Now, there's a very easy, simple fix that people do. They go to fasttechperformance.com and they buy fast tech third brake light. Now that brake light comes on and it flashes. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like the JDM cars do. Now, there's just one issue with that. This is American Muscle. I don't want no flashers. You know what I mean? I don't need no blinkers. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, no. Sequence said we got something better. We're going to save you with all your issues. You know what I'm talking about? And we're going to throw this joint out. This joint right here. Now, I got a couple functions. I got two functions over this joint. I got one for the show mode, and I got one for the regular brake light. Y'all gonna see huh, when we plug everything up. I'm not gonna tell you yet what it is. Just know, they I don't play no games. You know what I'm talking about? So again, huge shout out to my boys over there at Sequence, man. Y'all make sure y'all go tap in. The Instagram is right here, and all of that information is in the description down below. Make sure you go tap in. Also, use my promo code to save yourself some money off any purchase. Charger, Challenger, Camaro, Mustang, don't matter. You need it, they can get it. You feel me? So, with that being said, man, we're gonna jump straight into this install. First things first is gonna be to remove this little cover right here. Well, goddamn. That motherfucker wasn't supposed to just drop like that. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Five minutes later. Hey, you know, that's step number one. Then you're gonna go ahead and pull out these clips and pull this down. Now, as you guys know, I got the tank right here. We're not gonna be taking the tank off for this. We're just gonna pull it back and get to it, all right? So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, y'all, you did what I'm saying. So, as I said, the first step is gonna be to pull this little covering back. Huge shout out to my boy Versatile Steve behind the camera, y'all. If you haven't already, I need y'all to do me two favors. You wanna go ahead in the description down below is going to be a link to his channel and ddlapparel.com. Did I say that right? ddlapparel.com, yeah. man. Y'all make sure y'all go tap in, get the hoodies, the t-shirts, the whole nine, man. Also, tap in with official underscore byl.shop on Instagram. Pops up on the screen and the link is in the description down below. Go get your merch. Day I Squad hoodies, Day I Squad uh, t-shirts, joggers, stickers, decals. You know what I'm talking about? These joints right here. That say the J.I. Then the J.I. Mamba logo. And I'm talking about the whole nine. Any color you want, we can get it for you. Um, but yeah, man. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to my boy, man. Show my boy some love. And tap in with the, uh, with the merch. You know what I'm saying? Get your merch, man. Get your merch. The vet coming back. The vet coming back. And it's coming back. Stupid, man. All right, y'all. So, you said it was a T-15? Yeah. All right, y'all. So, the two bolts are going to be T-15s. Torque spits. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go in through here. Drop that motherfucker. <laughs> That's the only thing, like, I'm scared of it. Alright, man, come on. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Got it. <laughs> 
For real though, like that's the only thing I'm scared about. Don't drop a boat in the, in the goddamn trunk. You ain't getting that this bad. Taking out those two bolts straight. All right, y'all. So after you get these two T15 screws out from these holes, there's actually two more. So it's gonna be one right there and one right there. This harness is gonna be blocking you from getting access to those bolts. So you're gonna wanna undo it. Um, the easiest way that I found to do it is grabbing a flathead and inserting it on that side and then pulling out. That way, the, that it will unclip and not break. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to break that because I believe that's the harness for the trunk. Um, popping the trunk with the remote and the button on the door. So you do not want to break that harness. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get these Torx bits out. And then I will cut the camera back on when we're pulling the third brake light out. All right, y'all. So what I've been doing, um, I don't have a plastic pry tool. So um, if you don't have a plastic pry tool, like I don't, I'm using a scraper right now and then just a little towel over it. You're going to want to go ahead and pry, pry that light out, man. There's like a rubber seal on it. Once you get the, once you get it fully pried out, you should be able to just work, work it out of there. Yeah, there we go. Once you get it worked out, then you're going to want to undo that harness. And it'll be time to install the new one. All right, y'all, get y'all a side-by-side -side comparison. It's the new joint. It's the old joint. I tried spraying some tint on there to make it flow with the tail lights a little better. It came out all right for what it is. You know what I mean? It's just some black plastic dip smoke spray. So, got the new joint. Now, like I said, there is a show mode. Um, we are going to be splicing this wire to a toggle switch. However, we're just not gonna do it right now, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna have to stay tuned for the show mode. However, I will show you guys the third brake light um, and what it does on the regular, you dig what I'm saying? Moment of truth, y'all. Y'all ready? Oh, did y'all see that? <laughs> Let me show you again. Hey, boy, what the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> that shit is so hard, nigga. Look, y'all gonna get Versatile's honest reaction. I want you to record your face. See what it's hitting for, y'all. <laughs> oh, boy. It nigga Robocop. <laughs> that that's a Robocop, man. That's a Robocop, I ain't gonna lie. Boy. Might have to oh, eat that. Show mode. That show mode. Now that show mode hit different on guard. But yeah, man, as you guys saw, <laughs> as you guys saw, we finna go ahead um, got it connected and everything for the third brake light function. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up, like clean everything up, put everything back. Like the night rider. Damn, that whole clean. What the fuck? Oh yeah, I fuck. I fuck with that. I That's actually gonna do it for today's video, man. Again, huge shout out to Sequence. I can't say thank you to you guys enough. That third brake light is insane, and I haven't even showed you guys the show mode yet. You dig what I'm saying? Now for the show mode, you have to wire up the um the red wire that's on the third brake light you have to wire it up to a 12 volt uh sort power source 
and then it'll be able to cut on. So I'm gonna wire mine up to a switch and I'll show you guys how to do all that in the next upload. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to prolong this video and make it too long. So I'll show you guys how to do that in the next video. But if you guys are interested in getting that third brake light for your car, go ahead and go to sequence.com. The link is in the description down below. Also check out their Instagram. The link is also in the description down below. Make sure you guys use promo code JI Squad when you're checking out. That way you can save yourself some money and you be riding in style, man. You dig what I'm saying? But with all that being said, y'all let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys think of the third brake light. Do you guys think it flows better with the tail lights? Does it look good on Mamba? I personally love it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. Also, go tap in with the Instagram because I'm about to post a ton of pictures and, you know, some videos and stuff like that of the car rolling with the third brake light in action, man. But with all that being said, that's going to do it for this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Thank you guys for 2,600 subscribers. Make sure you turn on those post notifications cases drop a comment in the comment section down below and give this video a big thumbs up i'll see you guys in the next one